Okay, this will be the last um, video for uh, finishing the, the um, building up for um, and preparing it for rigid bed destruction. Uh, so we need to gather our materials, uh, the, the chunks together, like our office, our inner walls, so on and so forth. Um, so let's try. Let's start by blowing this guy up. Okay, not this guy as well. And let's start by bringing in the floors. Object merge. I guess we can go on this main floor. Okay, and we can find the floors here somewhere. And here, our floor. Uh, and uh, in floors is here, right? Our floor in floor. Okay, let's work on them here. So this is our floor. Let's click it. Right, these are our floors for this building. So I have some groups here. And what I want is to drill holes from the columns. So I'm going to bring in the columns. In column. Columns. Okay. Our columns are where? Here. scattered okay I don't need to do that put a boolean now I'm saving this as part 6 like we put it the last one for the building generation okay let it cook A subtraction for A and B. So let's go have a look at this one. Okay, and here we go. Okay, we made some holes. Now uh, that's not actually that bad. Let's put a wrangle. So it's going to be on primitives, and I'm going to name this overall changing the material name equals ID floor. I think it's a bit more easier to uh, do other operations here because we can do ID floor, ID floor inside, which we will now. Because if I do, oh, this is going to be after, uh, sorry, after the extraction. Um, Let's call it material name. I want to put a connectivity sub. It's going to be based on primitives again. We're going to call it class. And for each floor, I want to give it a name as well because these are just floors, right? In case I want to use them based on floor, and then we can say, copy paste this after connectivity I guess let's just say uh, name floors then we can say floor ID uh, this is just saying it is the name so we can tag them by floor as well oh sorry my touch is on let me turn that off Just typing in some commands on the other. If it's the, my my uh, touch on my Wacom is on, and when I move my hands, it it's uh, it moves the mouse, which is very annoying. Just quickly fixing it. Okay, done. Um, so where are we? Okay, main floors. So it's gonna be ID floor. No, we're gonna say because we already defined the material. I said material plus 
okay so it's just like a separation between the two attributes integer to array because we're making a string right and then change the class attribute so if i look at my primitive names now and we should have a floor attribute like this and we have what 82 floors including the first one okay um now i'm gonna blast a lot of groups from here because i don't need them just do a little cleanup basically so let's see i don't need the columns group i don't need the attribute type group okay i need to do some attribute cleaning attribute delete so we don't need the area anymore we don't need f we don't need y we don't need some size um i really don't need anything from here but material and name and to be frank we don't even need the material because we can extract that from name but let's keep those so we can just do material and name and then we can just go home asterisk accept material accept name and get rid of everything and this is the last thing as well so oh there's one more point group to get rid of it's not in here but it is there so if we type it it should get rid of it cluster point cluster point okay and um, yeah this is as clean as it gets for passing it down for packaging uh, oh let's make one more group actually in case we need them we have the attribute but Sometimes it's easier to blast. And all of this is called a floor group. Well, okay, uh, floor, floors. We still have. Oh, this was before the blast. The extra faces don't have that anymore. So let's get rid of that as well with the capital F. Floor, okay. So this is now actually the real out floor. So let's group this. So this is pretty much now in good shape. Um, let's start with the walls now. It's almost gonna be like a very similar workflow. Object merge, walls should be already not penetrating anything, but we're gonna double check. In walls. Out inner walls is fine. Oh, because we don't cook now, it has to cook. Okay, let me pause that so we don't wait another 30 items. Okay, the walls are cooked. Let's, okay, so we have here one. Yes, all right, so we will do the same thing. In fact, I'm just going to copy paste most of this now. Let's give it a name. Um, ID inner walls. Now these are the ones I used for shading too, so I, I have to match them. Um, don't need to do connectivity well, we are doing connectivity because in case I want to make them easier I suppose I don't know but I have them so I'm just gonna do the same thing this is probably not the easiest part though anyway um, let's call we call this the same thing Probably better if it was packed by. Well, it's also right. Um, doesn't really change much. Uh, so let's do this cleanup as well. Okay, so we have this camp out and office lights. We don't need those here. Over here, office light, camp out, capital O. Okay. Now 
let's create another group called wall. Group. This is wall group. Okay, this guy's okay. Now let's bring in the frames, object merge. In frames. Um, this guy, we're gonna repeat the same process. Need to wait for this to recalculate. Okay, these are the frames. Let's just copy paste this. And at the end, we're gonna call this frame, frame, and frame, frame. Let's just move a mouse check in case we have some other rogue attributes that we use here, but not somewhere else. To make sure that they're done, yes, we have. Um, frame and window link so these are actually all window link or all, all frames so let's get rid of window links is it here yes okay this is also clean now another set of blocks get our organization Next, we're moving into the columns. Let's copy paste this. We have one here. Pretty much the same workflow once again. So do a little check here. They're not obviously the same. So columns, columns group, columns frame group one. Um, we had the shell. Let's bring the shell in shell out the wall. I think that's what we call it, right? I think it's no, it's this guy here. Right? In the walls, not the cross, this one. Should we bring this together? I think so. should copy so if this is a small one the small one goes up right yes so we want let's put a null here okay it's okay let's call it out shell it's almost there out shell this one, this one goes here, okay, let's have a look, yep, I think let's do the same thing, um, oh, we forgot to change these material names, which is not cool, we need to change those, so this one would be, this is inner wall, yes, This would be this is another inner wall. This is a frame. ID frame. Okay, this would be ID column. I think they are all using the same material, but yeah, um, if you don't want to use different ones. So let's categorize based on that actually. So this is a floor. It's floor. Okay, so let's put it concrete okay we can use this material later on to group them to okay let's name them as they are and then we can make we can process it we can make it a little better down the line id frame let's call it id frame let's call it id column okay and let's call this id shell shell 
this group. So the same thing here. Make sure it's clean. If not, I gotta get rid of all of these. Um, if you, because we have names, this is a little bit easier. If you move, because the groups are shown, if there's an F name, F sign, uh, as if a thing as name, it shows up in the groups. But if there isn't, if you do it before, it won't. So you just need to get rid of all of them. So it's just a bit, I think, easier to deal with. We have material name and shell. We have direction. We don't need that as well. Um, this is also done. here okay now let's bring in the glass object merge in glass in glass we split the glass somewhere um okay let's let's not do that yet let's bring in the glass now do our little cleanup again. Glass group. Glass, material name, obviously. Glass. Okay, uh, middle mouse. Triple check everything is legit. Group again. Now we have the antennas, I think, now. Outside walls also. Um, object merge once again. Now let's um, bring in. How the heck do I have the slide? Where is it? Okay. Paste two. We get rid of everything. It would be cool. I didn't do it in mine, but like when the building is collapsing, uh, they can turn off, you know, over a few frames or just different chunks from top to bottom, maybe as things are breaking apart. You know, normally I guess everything is cut off at the same time, but it would be more cinematic if everything broke, you know, a little in a more dramatic way. Lights, lights. That should be done with that. Again, material name, you, you don't even need UVs, right? We have UVs, it doesn't matter how far you move. Lights. Okay, these are the lights. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna duplicate this right here and change the merge into now outside walls. And then finally, we'll have the, um, let's call this walls, walls group. Out walls, actually, because, I, because outside walls out walls group okay um switching attributes looks except the name uh, the walls out walls out walls okay uh craft and craft ID one here okay this is good and finally antennas antennas Um, here is antennas. Yep, antennas and the antennas group. So this is like the little boring part, but it's very important to have actually in um, geometry. Because our antenna ID. Okay, no add ID because we're gonna simulate this anyway. So, um, well, actually, yeah, we're gonna simulate this so that. It's going to break. We can recreate it. Um, antenna ID. We don't need this for moment. We need the material. The material is here. Um, we had two materials in this one. Or the group. We had the top group, which we need to preserve because that's the way we want the. Um, this is where we want the if the glow right. 
Yes, so we want that to be loaded ra randomly, right? So we need to preserve that. Or we can do something like this. Um, no, let's preserve that. We can do that after shading work is better. And here, no, you know what? Let's do like this. ID antenna. Okay, our antennas. Let's keep the top group. then let's let's call it antenna and then let's duplicate this to the top group and say antenna antenna light and then put this type of view also and antennas okay if you look here now we're gonna have Material and primitives. So we should have antennas and antenna lights. Okay. All right, good. And clean up. Antenna ID add them as different. Okay, let's we were using this for snapping, remember? Um, we don't need the top anymore because we used it already so actually i can get rid of it um let me save so this now is all going to merge into one giant object which is being highlighted let it calculate this thing. Okay. Help me. We're missing this flora. Where's our flora? Oh. I like the order to be a bit more matching. So there's a few things we're going to fix as well, like this. Well, this could be like a barbecue area. You have them in the modern buildings. Um, you know, like a uh, area where everybody goes up and you know, usually there's a little pool on the condos. Anyway, um, now what I also have, it says that, so what happens is if you get this warning, it's okay. It means that, oh, I have some attributes existed somewhere else. So which is this guy? So let's find that and actually get rid of it because it says one of these chains is producing more material ID, um, producing more attribute than the others. It's not going to break anything like antenna ID, but if we don't need it, we don't need to tweak it in my opinion. Um, so it says UV and N is missing. So we, we, because I think we have some of these which have UV, some don't. This one doesn't, this one has UV, this one doesn't have UV. No, this one has UV too, but it's on the point. What is here? Can we promote this to a vertex? Uh, it says it has UVs, but they are, no, it has UVs, not UVs. No, I don't see them. Oh, I do. There you go. It's uh, impossible to see. Um, inner walls. This needs a UV clean up, guys. Um, inner walls here. We never UV this. I skipped it somehow. Let me check in my scene. And we should do it. Otherwise. Oh, I actually do. But um, we'll do it here again. And let's actually do it here. So we don't contaminate it down there. Okay. So let's put a UV. Let's go in here again. Let's have a look. Let's save because we did a lot of work. So um, assuming we want to UV these all together, right? So I mean, normally for this kind of things, unless you know you have a level that let's say you're making a complete game. And you're gonna go through here, you know, this area might need proper UVing, but 
we have things like tri planner uving and um some of those things can come really handy but i think it's gonna take long um i mean i'll give that option to to whomever wants to uv uv or to shade it so maybe it doesn't hurt to get proper uvs laid out on the on the udim space and which we can do now here um and if somebody else wants not to use that you know it's it's there obviously this is quite unusable but you know it's um it's their choice um then we can use uv tiles oh sorry we can use uv layout and then um, before you plug it in you can change its target to udim tiles and then you can say tile grid maybe two to one okay and that's going to distribute them let it cook the fans are spinning now okay so if i go here you know that's not enough you can go four five or you can go you know let's do four each wall is going to take more space and so on and so forth not really a, a big deal to be honest um if you're going to like this right um then i guess we have to do the same thing with the uh the lights if lights are emissive we no need um we can do the same thing with columns let me see but the columns are already here i guess we can kind of <clears throat> lay them out as well okay then i guess you want well we'll transform these uh because they will overlap now and we can fix that later so down at the merge area once we have all the information out in those okay so this doesn't seem to have the uvs out like they have as well Th this has it but this doesn't have it and this doesn't have it so let's do that as well i'm just going to put this on manual and then i'm going to say okay you know what, let's make a production quality object and asset if we want we use uvs if we don't we don't need to use here so now this is going to take a while to cook i guess if it doesn't crash so i'm going to save and let it cook right down here no here no because we are do we need to remove uvs anywhere no we don't no we don't no okay so here we should have uvs then we will put uv transforms here and then start transforming them to their respective places okay let's cook this and i will come back once it's done probably maybe five minutes thing depending on your cpu speed okay so it did take a while so if you're going to make 10 of these you may want to leave your computer for a while so but um let's do the <coughs> excuse me let's do the part where we where these UVs are gonna now make sense, to be honest, which means we need to bring these guys down. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. And let's bring this down as well. Let's do it like this. Select, shift select. Shift select there, of course. Okay, and now connect these and use so we can do our operation here. So this is the floor. I guess the floor can stay where it is. UV transform. Let's bring the walls one level up. So I guess that's gonna be um, this. No, not this. This. Bring it up. Yes. Now let's cook this 
this and then pick the frames and the frames can be I guess let's go here so that's gonna be um, four so it's gonna come here now oh this is not very cool we need to do this one a bit better no this is this doesn't look right this is like almost top down so we need to fix that okay but you know what's not going to change it's not going to change um where we put them so this one now is going to go on down to zero okay and this is the columns the columns are fine we can do this for columns we can maybe do one up yes okay and we still have more shells this looks right shells can go two up I guess so zero two okay we still have glass yeah this is also not how we would like but we're gonna adjust that very quickly i think it's the the axis is we didn't set the axis properly for some of those so we need to give them a little bit more extra attention so this is the glass and the glass can go to to be here so that was what four two this is zero one two right Four two, okay. Lights. Really not made for you, in my opinion. But like I said, let's give it anyway. If we were modeling this for somebody else, so that would be five. No, sorry, four. No, zero three. So it goes up here. Art walls, obviously this one is next here, but it has to be done. And that is gonna go to four three. And finally the antennas. The antennas are gonna go to zero four. Okay. All right. So now what did we merge? Oh, we still have an overlap here. Oh no, these are the, the floors. No, something is still here overlapping something. Is it this one? It's this one. What are these? I think they're the columns. Oh, this is the after the boolean. Oh, how interesting. Um, Okay, we need to really update this, I guess. Okay, so let's first fix, this is fine, this guy. So this was frames, frames is easier here. Let's have a look. No, this is the glass. Oh, well, the glass was broken too, right? So let's fix that as well. I think it's gonna be the same thing um out roof okay so this uv flatten so maybe we don't need that but let's put a uv text uv texture on per face let's say first uv per face okay then uv layout now i should spread it out It's not happy. Okay. Do I have to kill it? I think I have to kill it. I wait. I wait it out. It's doing something for sure. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's working. It's doing something. Um, 
but I'm not seeing any progress, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, now, so we're gonna kill this because this is taking forever. Um, I have to find a s more simpler way to, I think, um, UV the glass. So in fact, it's the glass, it may not need to be UV, or we can UV the single side before extrusion to speed up things. Or we can UV a single, um, we can use it, we can UV them all uh, on top, or, but we also create a rest attribute positions um, before uh, rendering in Redshift, so that should also work fine. But now I'm going to kill this. We saved anyway, but let's do six save. You know, when you do a six save in um, Linux, it gives you a, a path, so maybe you can recover it, but we saved anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. So now this is dead. Let's launch it again. Because otherwise, I mean, it's cooking, but it's going to take like an hour, and if you do like maybe more and if you do like 10 buildings it's gonna take way too long time than we would like it to take okay let's uh, open up this again okay so the same this was part six but what is the last one let's check temp Again, temp it's the same size so let's open this one on manual and we'll save it as file six again File, save as. No, let's do this for here. This was the glass. We destroyed everything. And the frames were not correct as well. I'm going to save it as this. Oh, so it's not here. This is the temp folder. Let's go to our project folder. Not this one. This is still a fresh one. Yeah, it's part six save okay and now what we're gonna do is oh, i have to let it cook again but at this time i'm going to disable the uvs then i'm going to enable the uvs to recook but i just want to finish this video not to take any longer so i'm just going to disable all the uv nodes this is like the slowest part of our um node tree so I'm just going to let this cook again. And just before we uh, send this into PDG, we are going to uh, enable them. So we'll get the UVs. But let's cook this now. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. pause while it's cooking again okay so now this is our building it's all you know we have antennas columns all those separate groups we have materials we have names if you want to pack this by name we can convert this to you know visual vi vi visibility wise we can do this uh, we can say okay you know what do the name it's gonna say the name it's gonna be so many but we can do it by material as well so if I do um, pack edit no, pa is it packed? Yes, it is packed for to, to change the visibility. But we can do the same thing as well. Visibility display as bounding. So we get all these bounding boxes for speed reasons. Or we can pack by material type. You know, and we can say, you know, pass up the material name. Here we will have. So we can blast them by material. Um, to process right id frame or just assign the materials here there's a lot of things we can do um, but i'm not gonna do that here i'm gonna say now out building this is all clean and ready to be cached out now out building so now we go into our um we go into our dot net so this was our this is where we did the land right let me see change land this is our land on this side we can put the land on the right side 
and then we can put the building on the side so we're gonna put a wedge again actually no I can just put that to be honest change building wedge and this will be building geo or actually let's give it the exact same names building wedges let's give it the building wedges okay and now what I need to do is to say I want 10 of these okay I'm gonna call this building seed I think the title is friendly to be honest let's kill this as a new one I'm gonna call this building seed it's going to be an integer and it's gonna be a range and it's going to be from um, I guess 0 to 1 like we can do that um, okay so the, the the file path we're gonna again I'm gonna copy this guy so I'm gonna paste it here so this this top path is gonna change as well but this is gonna be building wedges wedge cluster ID it's not it's gonna be building seed so it's here this is obviously a single frame it's just gonna switch frame and it's gonna write a new one not dollar f we're gonna call this building seed as well um, they can be all in one folder let's do it like this let's call it dollar os version one building at building seed dot bga right so it's going to be like 10 files anyway so it's going to be like one two three four five okay this should do this is probably better um so what do we do next we need to update what we are reading so i'm going to pin this i'm going to go up here into building generator so i want to capture this and i want to overwrite this for building seed all happens with this guy right so it's going to be at building seed just need to be careful with the typos obviously i have a short memory so i have to check back and forth all the time yeah it's correct um so just to check before we cook we can do something like this some part that doesn't take much time well you know it's you it's better um yeah we can just use the our proxy for visualization right okay update cook okay so that's one and basically now if we go I'm gonna pin this view go back to here and I'm gonna cook this wedge node oh it starts the end we need to update this so that should be zero to nine which is ten wedges let's do it again so if I select any of these now it should change my seed value which then should change my building shape and everything we did will happen at the bottom and then we'll capture that as a, a building cache maybe this one is a bit bigger okay um, we just have to make sure I think I want to make sure that if the um, the building blocks is changing as well because three of them came out to be Let me see. Yeah. Go through. Okay. 
No, it's working. Okay. So you're just uh, trying to put this away. All right, cool. Um, let's put this on manual and um, we'll save our scene and let's go to our building widgets and actually um, cook it. Uh, we can probably use a local, okay, let me create a new. But it's again, based on your CPU and RAM, uh, amounts it's it's a it's a taxing operation so you can if you it's a con single it's going to go one building at a time it's a fairly multi-processed task so there won't be much gains over running three or four at the same time but uh, maybe slight but it meaning that if you run a few uh, back to back it's going to end up um, using too much memory as well so i'm going to keep it single anyway and then I'm going to say quick selected notes and then, and then we'll come back once it's done. All right. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we're going to check our new assets and then we'll start fracturing them. And um, that will be it.